Hi everyone, I'm Josephine. I studied with the National Academy of Beauty last year and graduated from my Diploma of Specialist Makeup. I'm now working in a salon in Melbourne doing lash extensions and makeup and I'm having so much fun, but I'm so glad to be back here today with the National Academy of Beauty filming a look today for everyone to show you how to do a glam summery night look. Some of the products that I'm using today I actually received in my kit and they're still some of my favourite products. I'm going to be starting with using a concealer on my eye to create the perfect base for your eyeshadow. So I'm now using a nude eyeshadow just to perfect that base that we're going to be using for our eyeshadow and we want to use it all over the eye. So I'm now using a light warm brown just in the crease really blended out and blending out just above the crease as well. And you don't want to be too heavy with this as this is just another step of your base as well. And then continuing on, you want to go a little bit darker and go further into the crease and not so blended out. And now I'm just going over the top of that one just to blend it into the previous brown that we've just used. And then we're just going to use an even darker brown from that one, still using warm tones. And we're just going to flick it out just a little bit in the outer eye. We're just going to grab another blending brush just to go over and make sure that it blends in with the other browns that we've used. So I'm just adding that middle brown again just to the crease just to blend it out a little bit more and drag it out to the corner of the eye. And I'm just blending that in again with that first brown that we used. So throughout your course, when you do your diploma through the National Academy of Beauty, you get a wide range of the brushes that you'll be able to use. But today we're just alternating between just a couple of brushes, one that's really just for blending and the other just for getting into that crease. And I'm just gonna add just the tiniest little bit more brown just to the outer corners of my eye and just dragging in just a littlest bit and just blending through that crease again and I'm next just going to be using just a concealer to go on the mobile lid and I'm using that same brush that I used at the start to create my base and just blending it out the tiniest bit throughout the mid of the mobile lid and again you don't want to use too much so the reason that I've used concealer again on the lids is so that I can apply a lighter color to my lid. I'm going to be using the same brush that I used for my concealer to apply my gold tones and you just want to make sure that you've brushed off all the excess so that there's not going to be too much fallout and once you've done that you're just going to go back in with a little bit of your darker brown just to blend it throughout the gold and using that same blending brush that we used at the beginning just to go over that. So that's it for the eyes for now. We wanted to start with those so that we could prevent any fallout from falling into our clean base, which we're gonna get started on now. So we're gonna start by priming the face and we're just gonna go all over the skin. So you then wanna put on your foundation and you'll be applying this all over your face and priming your face will just give you the best base for your foundation. You're gonna wanna just powder it down in place just to set it. And you don't wanna use too much, just a light amount, just to pat over. So next I'm gonna be using my concealer wheel. I'm gonna be using this not only to cover any spots, but I'm also gonna be using it to highlight and accentuate the areas that I'd like to. So first I'm just going over any red areas that I just wanna hide. And you don't have to use too much as long as you're just patting onto the area. And I'm just going to slightly blend out those areas. So again, I'm going to set that down with a translucent powder. This just sets it in place so that the concealer isn't going to move throughout the day or blend in with your foundation. So where you want to highlight, you want to go above the forehead. And a little bit goes a long way, so you can really blend that out and drag it down the bridge of your nose. And then just pick up a little bit more for your chin and as well as under your eyes. And this not only is concealing your purple bags, but it's also highlighting those areas. And you can drag it up the cheekbone. 
Now don't worry if it doesn't look too blended, we can do that with the foundation brush. We'll just want to go over the areas just to give a perfect full coverage base. But before we do that, we just want to set that back down in place again so that it doesn't blend in with the foundation and affect the colour. So we don't want to use too much more foundation because we've already put on a fair amount. But we're just going to go over just to hide all that concealer and blend it all in. So the reason that we set our foundation again is so that when we're using a powder contour, it's not going to stick to the foundation. It makes it more blendable and applies in a much better way. So we've just contoured under the cheekbones and then we're going to continue on top of the forehead just to give a really glowy summer tanned look. And then again, just under the cheekbone, just to sharpen it up a little bit. And when you're contouring, just constantly making sure that you're blending it in so that there's no harsh lines. So now that we've completed our base, we're gonna go back to the eyes where we can now apply underneath. So I'm starting off with the lightest brown that we use. So we're just blending that into the eyeshadow that we completed earlier. And we'll just go with a hint of the darker eyeshadow. And we're using our blending brush again just to blend out all those harsh edges. So I'm going to use just a smaller brush and with a light shimmery colour to highlight the inners of your eyes. And you can drag it out just a little bit throughout the inners. So I'm next going to be using a shimmer powder and this is just going to go on your cheekbones where you've just applied your cream highlighting. And you can go over all those places that you just previously highlighted with your concealer wheel. Before applying the lash, I just want to fan it off a little bit so that when it comes to sticking it, it's going to stick correctly. So you can make sure it's in place by checking that it's correctly in line with the inner and outer corners of your eye. And then give it a little fan. So the reason that I love using false lashes is it's a great way to just make your eye pop and give you a little extra. So you're just going to use a little bit of mascara to properly blend your natural lashes and false lashes together. And personally, I don't think a look is complete without false lashes. It's a great way to just combine your look and tie everything in together. I'm next going to go in with a lip liner and I'm going to go with a really nice nude colour that's just not going to overpower the eyes that you've just created. So this is going to go all around the outside of your lips, including your lower lips and upper lip. And you can even just touch around the mid sections of your lips as well. Sometimes this can create a really beautiful base for the rest of your lipstick. I'm using a lipstick from home today, but when you're using one for a client or you're using another person's lipstick, it's always good to just use a disposable to apply. And I'm just going to blend that in just by rubbing my lips together. So I've just applied that all over the lips and blended it into the liner. So I'm just going to blot off just a little bit of lipstick so that it's not too sticky but not too much so that it's gonna take in away any of the color. So I'm just quickly gonna do my brows. I never leave the house without my brows done. So I'm just adding in a little more of an arch and bringing it down to the tail and then blending that through and just giving them more of a sharp line. So I'm gonna go through with a little bit of powder. This is just gonna darken up the brow and give it some more thickness. So this is the look completed. I hope you have so much fun at home trying it out and wearing it out. Thank you so much to the National Academy of Beauty for having me here today. It's been so much fun and I'll see you guys soon.